the, let's say, put plaster in it and fix it. A little more paint discrepancies. We'll see these a lot because the plumbers have to come in and they have to connect the furnace. Mm -hmm. So I'll have my painters come in after my plumbers are in here on Monday. And show the schedule of plumbers to, or the painters to come out on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week before we close. All right. So you got thermostat, we already went over that. Dining room is set up, like I said, it's, it's set up, you can put a fan or a chandelier in here if they want to. Uh, there are only two outlets for coax connection. Should they decide to get like direct TV or something like that, they still use the coax system. Um, Cox Communications is fiber only here, so they will have to run a line on the outside of their home and they'll punch from outside to inside, mount their, saw their hardware, and then they use the Wi-Fi from there. Uh, but most companies, DirecTV, Cox Communications, um, Dish, they all use wireless set-top boxes anyway, so you really only need one outlet. But we give you two. One's here, one's on the other side of this wall in the master bedroom. Okay. Okay? This is the reason why this return air right here is the reason why you don't have a register vent right here. Okay. I see a drywall screw right here that they didn't cover up. I'll have them cover that one up. And that's just a nick right there. I'll have them cover that too. You look behind the doors, make sure there's no crazy discrepancies there. Paint, drywall, whatever the case may be. And there's be. a door stopper there, uh -huh. which is perfect. We don't put door hinges uh -huh. with the stopper on the hinge. We put the door stoppers at the baseboard. Um, a lot of people have questions about that because we're going to go into the master bathroom here in a few minutes. And there's two doors that can touch one another. Okay. We can't put a stopper on it because then it's going to put a stopper on the door. And those, these doors are hollow. So... Some people have asked for the stops. They're super easy to install. If the buyers are they they want to do it. Up, I'm more than happy to come put it in for them. Okay. It's super easy. I don't mind. Um, and I heard that they're medical, right? Want a nurse? Both yes. nurses. No, I think the other, uh, the husband's something with, um, I don't remember what he does. I think he does electronic, electronic manufacturing or something like that. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I relate to the nurse. I was in the Navy for six years, and two of those years I was a combat medic, I was a corpsman. So I'm very, very familiar with what nurses do. I just did it on a much bigger uh, hospital. <laughs> it's called the battlefield. <laughs> and so for me, it was very interesting to always learn about, my sister's a nurse, my sister-in-law's a nurse, um, learn about what they do. And I'm like, oh, I did that. I did that. I know how to do that. And I'm like, why don't you get in the medical field? I was like, yeah, you don't pay enough. <laughs> just some paint that I'm seeing here that my painters may have missed, or there were drywall repairs and the drywallers didn't leave their tag next to a paint discrepancy or a drywall. So like, let's say it was okay. a little hole right here. Mm -hmm. I put a tag next to it. My drywaller would come through and he'd fix it. And mm -hmm. then he's supposed to leave the tag next to it so that the painters know to paint it. Doesn't always happen though, uh. unfortunately. And I'm okay with it, they miss one or two. And all of those windows are the same way where okay. they pop out. Even the laundry room, which is a much smaller nice. window, it's a lot easier to do. So, make them all uniform. Um, Probably a shadow. But I'm going to put a tag there anyway, just because. Dark shadow. It looks like it's discolored. And it's probably nothing. My painter's going to come out here and go, all right, dumb dumb, I'll paint it, but there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. So. <laughs> Master bath. I'll let that fill up here while we're talking. Um, so the master bath, this is what I was talking about with the, the two doors that touch. Mm -hmm. We put one here, On top, and that's because yeah. that is the that is the only spot that they can actually fit it in. Um, more often than not, these doorknobs will actually end up hitting, but we have this trimmed out the right way where it won't. Okay. Um, some people ask about the secondary safety drain. We don't put a secondary safety drain on any of our sinks. Okay. So it's that one that flows out mm -hmm. the back. And the reason why is because it, it only drains 1.2 gallons per hour. Um, you're, if you put both of these on, you're going to fill up three gallons in an hour. So you're never, it's always, you can always overflow. Uh, so that's holding. Ready? Okay, no dri dripping. Good, good, good. And again, the discussion ring right here. Obviously, i got to show it for them. But I'll get that clocked on, okay. Yeah. Same right deal here. with the plastic. Uh-huh. So I'm going to close. Wrong one. 
This is the only um, spot where you can hang a towel. There's mm -hmm. no toilet paper holders or towel holders. I'm sure that was discussed. Oh, yeah, that was discussed. Perfect. Turn that on, show you there's no leaks coming from either side. I think there is. There is a leak. Ah, I need to silicone it then. Yep, they just didn't silicone it there. That's all. Oh, and it's um, wobbly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it hangs off of two, two wheels okay. on either side. But that's the only towel holder they really get. So, um, should the exhaust fan works? Is that someone got their W fingers right there? Not mine. I haven't touched it. That wasn't you. I knew exactly what it was. My electrician's. It's a little outlet to uh, switch. So you see a paint flash right there. Nice big closet. Nice big. I have to call it the, the fourth bedroom sometimes. Uh, the baby, baby cribs. <laughs> the baby cribs, exactly. So you were asking about the, the clean out covers. Mm -hmm. There's one right here too. Okay. And it's because it's a plumbing source on the other side, a water source. So they don't do that themselves. They call someone to come and clean yes. it, Yes, right? so plumbers are a two-year warranty also. Mm -hmm. Same with the HVAC and the electrical. So those are what we call deliverables. Let's turn this off. Okay. I didn't see anything else in here. Did you, ladies? No, I didn't. Good. Good, good, good. I thought that I did a pretty good job of getting this house all trimmed up and pretty. And yeah, it looked nice. And making sure all my guys did their job the right way. But... Another set of eyes is always a good thing. Yeah, we came um, here when it was still sticks. Yeah. So, um, so is that supposed to be hanging like that? Or see that? Or it's supposed to shut up closed? The hook? Mm-hmm. And it looked like there's a little, I don't know, that's like a dent. Okay. We'll put it there and let the HVAC guys figure it out. Okay. Actually, now that you mentioned that, we should probably put a green tag on it because it should be... HVAC. Yeah, and now it's too high for me to reach it, so that's <laughs> um, So we were talking about warranty just a moment ago. So, mm -hmm. with respect to the warranty, it is a one year for um, workmanship. It is a two year for deliverables. So your HVAC, your plumbing, and your electrical. So anything that's delivered to the house is considered deliverable. Um, but don't go and get a water guy and say that we're going to warranty the water guy. Um, so that's where plumbing fixtures, uh, HVAC vents, return vents, new uh, uh, supply vents, micro ducts, all those fun things, those are all covered under the two year warranty for HVAC. Okay. Uh, plumbing fixtures, um, any leaks, um, toilets, showers, bathtubs, those are all covered under the two year warranty as well. And then for electrical, any of the outlet stuff working, those are covered. Um, lights aren't covered, obviously, because lights are going to get burnt out. Yeah. But they have some like an 80,000 hour lifespan on them. So they'll sell the house before the lights start going out. Oh, yeah. If they do go out, have them call me. I've got a couple of them in my, in my truck. I've got probably 30 or 40 of them in my office. We can always swing out and knock them out super okay. easy. Okay. Um, in addition to that, there is a secondary warranty with the HVAC system. Um, Green ID is the name of the company. I want to say they're, what is their name? Are they're, they're... Now they are getting a list of all these things that Absolutely, you're saying? Absolutely, yeah, 100%. Perfect. Perfect.